control system. Can you kind of talk about what, what led to that, and was, was, it, was it just to get kind of another another set of eyes on, on the defense there? Well, we, we all, we've we always wanted to have, uh, you know, Hunter. I mean, I always thought he'd be a good uh, GA, and then, you know, he went through the whole, uh, you know, what opportunities are out there for him to keep playing and things like that. And so, um, you know, once we kind of cycled through that, uh, uh, we did always think he'd be a good GA, so I had the opportunity to bring him in. Will he work mainly with the DBs, or will he kind of uh, rotate around? Or He'll work over there on defense, whatever they have him do, and I think that that, uh, uh, that role will probably grow as he does as far as uh, coaching. Does, uh, does ASU remind you guys of Utah a little bit? Maybe not the, 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 the athletes uh, or kind of the quality, but, but just as far as what they do defensively, their, their schemes and their concepts? No, nah, I don't. Nah, I don't know. I mean, I could make something up, but not really. Um, uh, they're a little different than that. Um, you know, they feel good about their defensive line. They do play off you, but then in certain situations, they're very aggressive. They play man. Uh, they blitz more than Utah does. Mikey, do you feel that? Uh, uh, Kids of this generation, athletes of this generation, are maybe a little bit more uh, prepared for all access type of t uh, programs because of the st the state of social media and that and, and so forth. Prepared for what? All, all access programs like HBO, for instance. Uh, no, I don't think anybody's particularly prepared for that. I think it's just the degree of what people get overly excited about shifts a little bit. You know, like uh, when there was less access, you know, somebody's name would be in the paper and, you know, might celebrate that for six months, you know. Now it just changes more often. You know, people get wrapped up in it uh, one way or the other, you know. But uh, um, the best ones, the ones that get the least distracted, are those that are the most highly motivated to play. You know, if they're really highly motivated to play, they don't let anything really get in the way of it. Or they do a better job of uh, keeping it from getting in the way. You know, I think uh, all these generational differences and, and, and often their complaints rather than, uh, uh, you know, negatives rather than positives, I don't really think it's changed that much. I think that... You know, a whole lot of people back in the good old days would have, uh, uh, you know, and they're more old days than good old days, to be perfectly honest. I think they would have reacted very similar. You know, I, I you know, everybody acts like they do something now or they do something, you know. Now it's a cottage industry for everybody to look back in history and say what they would have done, you know, if they were back in wherever. We're even tearing down statues and stuff like that. But, you know, back in the day, uh, I think everybody would have reacted quite similar, to be perfectly honest. Do you think that's that that the show is coming at a bad time now, just just in light of every, everything you guys have, have have gone through the last few weeks? Or do, do you think it matters, or have have you given any thought thought to that? I, I think they come next week, but I haven't given any thought. But you know, we'll limit the access that uh, to the extent we need to to not have any distractions because uh, you know the priority is the team, you know, and that's uh, that's always a priority. Was Darcel on the on the sideline uh, previously? Or was he up in the box with Tracy? Uh, uh, he was on the sideline. Do, do you want him to, to assert his voice more down there? Have, have you talked to him about that? And he, I, I believe that's kind of one of the reasons you you want him down there is to be a leader. <clears throat> yeah, I do. I thought we were too segmented. I thought we were too position oriented. Nobody really brought the message together before we went out there on the field. Are you guys going to change the way the, the way you get defensive calls? And I, I think that was something that you said it as, as a problem. Say that again. Are you guys going to change the way you, you get the defensive calls onto the field or, or streamline it more? Or? Uh, yeah, there is an effort to streamline it more. We gotta we gotta be faster, more precise, and I think all, all that starts in practice.